Hello, hello. Okay, who out there is familiar with this look? Yes, I know there are some of you who totally understand <sighs> the day to refill the pills. But I also wanted to share um, something that has changed, I think, hopefully in a really good way. And that is um, my doctor has raised my ex copri to 250. I am up to 250. Um, one of my doctors, neurologists, um, one of my neurologists said the goal is 400. My epileptologist, the um, first time I told her that, she, I don't think, was um, as sure of that. I think she wanted to take it as a slower rate to see because if a lower dosage works for me, then why change it to going up to 400? So I'm on 250. This um, takes me back. I used to get my pills, you know, in bottles, but um, this takes me back to when I first started Excopri, which was, um, I don't know the exact date, but I'm trying to think of the exact amount. If it was 12.5 um, milligrams or if it was 25 milligrams, they start you off really really slow on Excopri. It is um, a newer medicine out there and so anyway that's where I'm at. I because we changed my Excopri up to 250 I was on 200 and up to 250 I am now able to lower my Vimpat. I don't know if you can actually read that it even says Vimpat on here, but um, we can lower my Vimpat to 75 in the morning. So I take my 150 pill and I slice it in half or as best as I possibly can. I'm not always the greatest at the exact half mark but anyway I've been putting this off I've been doing it day by day um, because for one I wanted to share with everyone that I got to upgrade to the 250 on the X Copri now the last time I did a, sh a video which I know was a long time ago I was on I had just started I think the 200 um, and I had said that it does not make me tired like all my other medicines make me tired. And I just wanted to update that. Um, at the beginning, it did not make me tired, but I guess as it built up in my body that it did um, start making me a little tired. Basically, or I'll say, tired I won't say a little tired basically what I what I have learned there's several things that I try to play around with it and figure out okay how is the best way to avoid all these side effects and um, the way I do it I take my medicine with food and I mean I take it for one, I take it with my meal. So I take it at breakfast, I take pills at breakfast time, I take pills at lunch time, I take pills at dinner time. Just depends on um, which pill. Because I'm on, in addition to ex -Copri for my seizures, I'm also on two other medicines for my seizures. So I divide those up. Um, so my body isn't getting everything all at once. And then my other thing is I try to spread it out. Uh, so I take it with food, first of all. I start eating, okay? And don't think about, I try not to think about my medicine. Um, 
but I also am thinking about my medicine because I don't want to forget it. So I'm constantly like, oh, don't forget you got to take your pills. Don't forget you got to take your pills. Don't forget you got to take your pills. That's what's going on in my head. <sighs> so I want to get my pills taken so that I can just relax and enjoy my meal, right? So I, um, I have noticed that if I take them, um, more with an empty stomach, obviously, I get more of the side effect. Although I don't think any of my medicines say you have to take them with food, but I actually um, am not good at taking pills just with like a drink, uh, you know, like water. I'm not good at that. Um, I've gotten better because of taking pills now for how long have I been taking them? Um, well, I can tell you 200, 2014 is when I started, um, having seizures actually before then, but 2014, sorry, I am tired. And right now my voice is going off because my, my VNS went off. So my voice will be back in just a little, little bit. So here it's coming back. So um, my pills do not say take them with medicine. There it's back. They don't say take them with medicine. Obviously it says don't take them with uh, alcohol, which I do not do. And it says it may cause dizziness and blurred vision. But I find, yes, if I take a bunch of them all at once, um, my eyes, I guess can be blurry and I've experienced dizziness maybe a handful of times and that's it. But what I experience is my, I just get super, super tired. And all I wanna do is go to bed and I can't be doing that. I mean, I take pills three times a day. I have a life, I gotta, if nothing else, I need to take care uh, of my house. I need to take care of making food. I need to, you know, there's things to do in life. Um, so I can't just live in bed the rest of my life. So I try. Sorry, I, I am just super tired and it's just a side effect from my, my medicine. Um, so I try real hard to stay actually up on my feet so that I um, can work through the tiredness. And eventually, as I get myself working on other things, say making lunch or, uh, I don't know, cleaning or anything like that, um, I can make it past this tired spell and then I'm okay. Um, so each day is different and uh, each medicine can be different. Uh, and of course, how I take them also changes the way the side effects are for me. So this, I wanted this video to be specifically about Excopri, but I wanna share with you <laughs> my fun day of refilling my medicines. And I actually just got um, two of these, which is really, really nice to be able to, uh, I can refill, I can have ready four weeks worth of my medicine which is wonderful because you can't refill your medicine because insurance won't allow you to unless you're, I think, less than two weeks out of being out of medicine. And holiday times cause that to be super, super hard and stressful because, of course, the pharmacy takes time off or has, you know, hours off and they do not stock up on my medicine. So I have an awesome pharmacy now that I found and 
I do believe he does keep some of my medicine on hand so that when I do call because, oh my goodness, I've waited and I can't believe it because I just started doing this, right? So um, I somehow lost track of time or didn't realize how few pills I had left. So I, you know, I'm running to call him to get a hold of him to get my medicine. And then he's got to, depending on when I finally realize that I need to order, right? They might be closed for the day. Um, and then when I do get a hold of them, they have to put the order in and then they have to wait. And then if it's a weekend, it's even worse. Or if it's a holiday or a holiday weekend, or you know what I mean? So it, it can become extremely stressful. So this, having this all packed up ready for four weeks makes me know that, okay, once I hit the two week, I only have two of them filled up that I need to call. I need to call, see if the insurance will fill it up. And sometimes uh, I still call a little too early and then my pharmacist is awesome and he tells me, okay, when is, uh, I, I tell him, you know, can you, can you tell me the date? And he says, okay, call back on blah, blah, blah day. And then he can put the order through for insurance. And so then that's what we do. I call back and then he puts it through, it gets approved and we move on with life knowing that I have enough medicine to make it through another month. Um, I don't play around with my medicines because my medicines are obviously, first of all, because they're for my seizures and I don't want to have any seizures. And second of all, because I don't want to um, be off one day, on one day on the medicines, or even off, say, a week if I couldn't get my medicine for a week. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine. Um, I don't wanna take that risk. I don't wanna put my family through that of seeing me have seizures because I didn't take my medicine. So anyway, here we go. Um, I found these really cute little uh, pill holders. They work good because I have a daytime with the sun and a nighttime with the moon. But um, now that I have my Excopri, I take the Excopri at lunchtime. So I could even use one that has a morning, noon, and night, but I'm not going there at this point in time. So just to make it super easy, I've got, okay, I'm gonna make it, oops, sorry. Um, just to make it super easy, I've got a couple of them that are um, filled, that are ready, but I've got a bunch that are not ready. So I need to do this. So I take my Vimpat, and one Vimpat specifically, take my one Vimpat, I slice it in half because I need 75 in my morning and then I need 300 which is two of my pills at night okay so that's my Vimpat this is actually my ex Copri pill my old one my 200 so I'm gonna put him away and I'm going to grab my new ex Copri woohoo um, I haven't noticed, I've been on it now. This is a week, right? Yes, I've been on it now six days. It will be a week tomorrow. And um, again, the only side effect that I have is my tiredness. Um, but at first I did not notice any tiredness. I did not have tiredness. I put my Excopri in my morning 
but when I open up my pills for the morning to take with my breakfast, I put those back in here because I take those for my lunch, okay? So, um, but, uh, what was I telling you? So, let me go back to the pills. Okay, and then I take Breviact, and I take Breviact 150, two different pills also. And then my morning is done. And then my nighttime, I have my Vimpat, and oh yes, I almost forgot. Vitamin D. For some reason, I every time we do blood work, I always seem to be low on vitamin D. Um, I know I need to get outside and I need to get some true, real, fresh vitamin D from the sun. And it is super, super hot here these days. I mean, we're going to 115 and I do not want to be outside at 115. However, I have been, my husband and I have been walking, but more at nights when he gets home from work because I don't want to, uh, because it's hot out. That's just how it is, it's hot out. I used to walk with my neighbor and we were doing a great job of walking every single day, but it's hot out now things are changing. Everything is just changing for us. So I need to make it a better point to go, um, to go walking, but that's for now. Oops, I just dropped one of mine, but I'll fill up Monday. Um, so yeah, I just do need to do better. I know I need to walk. My body needs me to walk both physically to get some exercise and then as well to get my vitamin D. But in the meantime, I take vitamin D pills so that I can make sure um, all of these medicines actually do mess with my uh, body. I, um, it, medicine, uh, oh, how do you say it? It brings down my immune system some. So when I'm around people who are sick, a lot of times I will get uh, sick rather easily, way before anybody else around me gets sick. You know, say there's one person sick and a group of, you know, 10 people, and then boom, I normally end up sick. But that's how it is, right? So then I take my second, my half, that of the pill that I had just gotten and I, sorry, I'm like a little, okay. Um, I've got my other pill. Okay, now I did get my Vimpat filled up. I have them in hundreds. So I have them in 150 and I have them in hundreds. Oh my goodness, too much for my brain sometimes. And that's why I need to take um, literally an entire morning of refilling my pills because my dosages change or my the way my pill looks. You know, I don't have it here, but my, oh, I do have it here. My level for Roxin all of a sudden started coming in a box. I have never had my level thyroxin in a box. I always had it in my little uh, medicine tube thingy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I, you know, sometimes the pharmacies have uh, a hard time finding. I know there for a little while, level thyroxin was uh, really, really hard to find for the pharmacists. Uh, praise the Lord, we did not go without any level thyroxin, and I hope none of you did either if you needed it. Um, you just never know, really and truly, you just never know what the day is going to bring. So I have my half of my pill there. I've got my different looking 
pill here of my Vimpat because it's a different dosage, but it is the correct amount, 300 on the one and 75 on the other. And then I take my two Breviact pills and put them on both sides. And then I take my vitamin D pill and put it on the right, on the sun side for the AM. And I'm done with the PM. PM, I take a larger amount of Vimpat because my farm, my doctor, my, um, my epileptologist says Vimpat is a huge reason why I have such uh, major side effects of my sleepiness. And so of my eyes, let's just say of my eyes altogether because of blurriness, like if I can't see blurriness um, and things like that. Um, so it's best to take it at night for me. I literally take it for my nighttime pill. I've gotten to the point that Okay, so I used to take it with my dinner, right? And then after dinner, we'd go walking, then we would take showers, then we would go to bed. Well, what ended up happening is I actually started getting super drained at in my shower and I guess just really relaxed, I guess you could say. And I would end up um, feeling like, oh, this is just not a good idea to mix this in because after my shower, I have to brush my teeth and, you know, even in my shower, I certainly don't want to fall in my shower. So I stopped doing that and I actually take it, literally take my nighttime pills when I'm in bed because I don't want any issues because I take the highest dosage of Vimpat, you know, at night. So um, that that's what I've, that's my workaround. You know, you've got to figure out on your own um, by trying different things. I was going to say playing around, but don't play around with medicine, but trying um, according to what you're experiencing and what the doctor's rules are. You know, you want to follow what the doctor says. So, um, so that's where I am with it. Literally, I take my pills uh, in bed. And can I tell you, my poor husband, um, we may start talking and boom, I am out. I am asleep. Normally we end up, we've stopped trying to have an actual conversation at nighttime because I go to sleep so late that I, we actually turn on the TV and watch, um, we don't even watch YouTube, uh, we don't even watch a, a movie anymore. We've gone to watching like a short video because I can't even make it through that. It is crazy. And you can ask me in the morning um, something about what we were talking about or the video we just watched or you know anything like that and i actually many times don't remember but i will say once he starts saying oh we were watching you know blah 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 then i remember so it's not like i totally totally forget it's just that i need some help starting my memory um, and I don't know if this is all from uh, my medicine or if some of it actually is from my brain surgery. And I don't know if you knew I had brain surgery. I had my right uh, front, I don't remember. See, Willis is, uh, my husband's a whole lot better at remembering all the exact terms, but my right front lobe some kind okay so right front area they took out um because it was causing my seizures uh obviously not causing all of my seizures but we have come a long long way with my seizures uh since 2014 
it has been up and down and up and down. We have, um, I've experienced a lot. My body's gone through a lot, but it is, uh, you know what? To God be the glory where I'm at today because it's only because of him I even can sit here talking to you. So, my ex copri goes in for my morning and I am done. So I've got all my medicines in there. Then I open up my cute little blue and this is Monday and I think I, oh, I did Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. So I'm gonna finish those up, but I'm gonna do um, off the video so that I can actually get them completed even faster and I can get some other things done today. But as um, I was just thinking, you know, so when I started this video, I was super, super tired. Like I could have totally gone straight to bed and probably slept for several hours, okay? But now that I forced myself to sit down to do this video, looks like it's about almost um, 30 minutes long, I am feeling more awake. So that's what I mean by if you just stick it out and you know, whether it's, I try to stay on my feet, I'm sitting, so that's different, but I'm talking. So uh, stay on my feet, do some, you know, whatever, house cleaning, cooking, anything like that, as long as I force myself, because what I really want to do after my mess, after my pills is go to bed. So hang in there. If this is something new for you and you've got questions, please let me know. If you've been through this, if you're going through this, you're walking through um, having seizures and, and you have epilepsy um, and you have questions, let me know. If there's something that you want to add to it uh, that works different for you or works better for you, I'd love to hear it. Okay, so take care everyone um, and I will see you on the next video. God bless. Bye.